Hello guys, my name is Jesper Nissen, and in this video I'm going to show you how I manage my backlinks and how I encourage you to manage your backlinks also. So the reason that it's important to manage backlinks is that um, what I'm doing a lot of the time is I'm building free do follow backlinks like um, Linktree. Uh, let me show you. Jesper Nissen is your Linktree. For example, this uh, Linktree profile. I made a video about it, and it's on it's on the channel. So this Linktree profile link is a very powerful link. It has a domain authority of ninety three, and a page authority of forty four. And it's a do follow backlink. So I have a do follow backlink to my YouTube channel, my Facebook channel, my uh, website justbenison dot com, and then my Twitter dot com profile or X profile. And uh, as you can see, this link is live, but uh, many links uh, or some links, they do not stay live. And uh, also some links that uh, are free, like this link tree profile link is free. Some links are do follow. Some links are no follow. Some links allow uh, anchor text links where you can actually define the anchor text. You can see I actually didn't define. It looks like I defined the anchor text, but I did not just enter the... Um, the URL for the target web page, and then Linktree uh, determined to show this. So it is it is actually anchor text, but it's just not me that shows it. And uh, but and most profile links, they don't have anchor text links. And the reason that it's important for you as a link builder and uh, a link builder that loves these free links, the reason that it's important for you to keep track of this is that you want to vary the uh, link building profile of your websites. So you want a certain ratio of the links to be no follow. You want a certain links of the links, certain ratio of the links to be do follow. And you also want to vary the anchor text. So if you're building a lot of links with the ink where you defer, determine the anchor text, the specific anchor text, for example, this page here, uh, my the home page of my my website. Let's say that I want to boost this page for SEO courses for beginners, for example. This term I, I'm I don't even know where I'm ranking, but let's say that I want to rank higher for SEO courses for beginners. Then I might be tempted to simply copy this and use this as the anchor text for all my links. And if if you're a if you're not a beginner, you already know that this is not a good idea. But if you are a link building beginner and you're watching this video, then this is not the way to do it today because Google, it is effective up to a certain point and then you will get an algorithmic penalty for this and your rankings will drop because of this. If you're overusing the same uh, specific anchor text for your links. So what I do is I go to Google Sheets and uh, my sheet will typically look like this. So let's say I have a uh, link. Oh. Let's, let's call it UL and let's say it, it's Linktree. And then I monitor the DA and the PA. In the case of Linktree, it will be DA93. And I click this guy here, show data for exact UL, because then I see the page authority for this link, PA44. So 93, 44. And I always keep track of when I build it. Uh, I honestly don't remember. So let's say 1st of February, February 2024. It could be very well. And <clears throat> so, and then I just style it like style it like this. The background color will be black and the text color will be white and it will be bold. And I do like this. So it looks like a little bit more nice, like this. And so, so what I do next is I have the do follow. And this can be yes or no, of course. In this case, it's yes. An anchor text. In this case, it will be no, because uh, we are not allowed. So let me actually, I can actually log in to hold on let me just log in to check uh, 
two seconds. So I logged into my Linktree account and actually uh, seems actually that you can actually define the anchor text because you can see here it says YouTube. And then the uh, link that I added is uh, then the link to the YouTube channel and uh, or YouTube video. And uh, so anchor text for Linktree will be actually it will be yes. And I actually think and then the last could be description. And if you have a BA built built by. So these are the uh, columns that I used and uh, you might have more columns, but I mean, it's not really needed. So when you have these columns, you have control over everything. So what I do is I mark it as green like this and anchor, anchor text also green. So the, uh, the good thing about this is that when you start building these types of links, you can actually reuse this sheet for your other website. So Linktree yes, but isn't that is yo. Uh, if I do like this, I search for link tree alternative. And then I click on um, tap bio, for example, uh, here. And then uh, let's say that I log into this guy here and uh, build a link. Then I edit in my sheet and with the numbers, of course, and then I can just keep on going. So when I'm building links for my own websites, what I'm doing is I'm starting out by doing the research first. So for example, I made a video about this a couple of months ago, Linktree Alternative. So I searched for in, in this example for Linktree Alternative. And the reason that I searched like this is because Linktree, Linktree is a do follow back link. And I want a lot of do follow back links because I know that these do follow back links have built enough of these, even if they're free, I know that they give a nice boosting rankings. Um, so what I start out by doing, if let's say that I'm starting out today, I know nothing about links. I don't have any link sheets. Of course I do, but let's say I don't. This is what I would do. Search link trail alternative, uh, wix.com, put it here, wix.com, um, campsite. I don't know what that is. Campsite, campsite and uh, campsite.bio at this. And then I'll just keep on adding all of these guys here. And then I'll create a profile link or whatever kind of link this, I know that wix.com is not a profile link, that's an actual website, but it is free. And then I'll just keep on adding all of these fields. And in time, I would actually build out my own database of links. And if and when I get back a couple of months later, and let's say I built a profile on campsite.bio, and it's deleted after three months, I go back and check because I do go back and check. Then I would do like this. I would build, I would build a new sheet down here. The first sheet I call links. The second sheet I call deleted. So let's say that in the case of campsite bio, that it is it gets deleted by the moderators after three months because let's say moderators they don't like our, they don't like SEO people. So uh, what I would do is I would enter this uh, URL here and I would comment for myself gets deleted by moderators after moderators after three months because this is the most common mistake that uh, new that link building beginners do is that as a link building beginner you just build all of those all of these links and then you copy the sheet and start over with a new campaign and start over with a new website start over with a new website and you don't go back to check their life I do go back th three months after something like that because I know that if it's live after three months, then it stays live. So um, yeah, that's just a short video for the link building beginners about how to manage your link building campaigns. Take care, guys.